So I was trying to go through and make a power cord, and one of the problems that I noticed was, because this is going to be a more or less a game asset, uh, what I noticed with the curve is, yeah, you can break up the geometry very easily through adjusting here. However, if I go ahead and show you what happens after I convert it to a mesh, is we have a fine amount of edge loops here. That's fine. It's not really a concern. But is it extremely dense going all the way around the curve, or the, I guess in this case, the cylinder? It's just way too dense. And instead of going through and individually selecting every other one, which can be a very annoying and tedious task, what you can do is just if you go into, or I guess go to wireframe and allow toggle x-ray, select one whole set of loops. So we're going all the way around the curve. Go to select, check or deselect. So that way we select every other one. Then go down to select again, select loops and edge loops. And that selects every other one all the way up the chain. So then we can just control X to dissolve or press X and dissolve edges. And we just subtracted out literally half. So we went from 8,000 triangles down to 4,000. So keep doing that as much as you want. Select them all, check or deselect, and select edge loops, control X, and we're down to 2,000. So that's just one of those things that can really help speed up your workflow. And I just figured I'd go ahead and share it. So enjoy.